Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Siri server. Um, and uh, the reason this is a video camera and not a screen recorder is because I cannot find a decent screen recorder for Ubuntu. So I ended up having to use this camera. So you might be able to see it. You should be able to see it decent enough to be able to follow this. But basically, first off, I just want to let you know right here, the link in the description that says written instructions. That's what I'm using to make this. And you can just go there if you'd rather do that rather than following me on here. And uh, this does require Ubuntu, which is very simple to get. However, one person leaves a comment down below how to get Ubuntu. I will make a video ASAP. And you also must have Spire on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad for this to work. So for starters on this, we're going to have to open Terminal, which you're going to have to go up here to Dash Home. Do Terminal. Click Terminal. Open that up. And we're going to go ahead and type Command 1. I have this exact same thing on in the description. So you're just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it on your terminal. And you're going to have to put in your password. Nothing shows up when you type. It is reading it. It's just you don't get to see it. And that will go decently fast. And now we're going to want to go ahead and go into Ubuntu Software Center. And we're going to want to search Python, P Y T H O N, and it's actually called Interactive High Level Object Oriented Language Default Version. And if it has the little check mark, you already have it, which this should come default. But just in case, click it and make sure that this says remove. If it says install, click install and install it. And we're going to have to get one more package. Go ahead and search M2C. And the very top one should say a crypto and SSL toolkit for Python. This does not come installed as far as I know. So you're going to have to go to it. This will say install. Go ahead and click install. If it's already installed and it says remove, we're ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is basically just close out of that. You don't need that anymore. Is to go back to your terminal and do command number two copy hopefully you know how to copy and paste just right click and that'll take a little bit longer for you because it's gonna have to download something and now number three copy paste this one will take also a little bit longer than mine because it has to download also. Mine are already downloaded. And now we're going to want to go ahead and go to the link I have in the description that is right by download link. And you should get something that looks like this. And you're just going to click zip. Which is right up here in the left corner. And put save file rather than open with and OK. And now you're good to close out of this or minimize. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure this uh, downloaded and change some stuff. So go to your home folder, which is in your dock. Should be at the top. And go to downloads. And you will get a package that looks like this. It'll look like this. And you're going to go ahead and right click on it. And click extract here. And you'll, then you'll get a little regular folder like this. And you're just going to right click on that. Click rename. And you're just going to rename it Siri Server. One word, all lowercase. It's not going to let me do it because I already have something called Siri Server in here. But then you just click away from it and it rename it. And you'll have something that looks like this. And then you're going to want to go back to Terminal. And you're going to want to do command 4. And that's a really quick one. 
then you're going to want to do command 5 and mine says MV cannot move series server to series server directory not empty and that's basically just because I already have a full I've already done this so it already has a series server folder where I'm trying to move it so for you it won't say that it'll just uh, this whole line will be gone right here and it'll be really fast but to make sure that that thing move make sure that thing work which basically just moved the Siri uh, server just open up your home folder and go to downloads the Siri server should not be here anymore it should be under file system Siri server and it should just be right there and it sh there should be nothing in downloads except for other stuff you've downloaded no series server it should be gone and uh, now we're going to run command number six copy and paste that enter really quick one now we're going to do command seven but don't enter it yet because I gotta explain something Before you click enter on this, you're going to have to look at these last numbers, 192.168.1.1. That is uh, not your what you're going to want to put. You're going to have to go up here to your internet, right here the little wireless sign where you connected to your internet, and you're going to have to click connection information. I'm not going to show you my IP address, so... I'm not going to click on it, but there will be a thing that says IP address, and it should look similar to this. It probably will be completely different numbers, but it will be in the same format. Go ahead and put whatever yours is, but I'm going to close this for a second so you can't see, and I'm going to type in mine. And you're just going to click enter after you have it in there. and you should get something that looks like this please install slash Siri server slash CA dot PEM onto your phone you can do this by emailing the file to yourself so you're gonna want to email it to yourself if you have a way you want to do that just send it to the email on your iPod or iPhone but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right within Ubuntu you're just gonna to want to go up to your dash home actually before you do that you're still going to want to go into your, no you're not, you're going to want to go to your home folder. Home folder. And you're going to click on file system on the left. And then you're going to go to your Siri server. And there should be something called ca.pem. You're going to want to move that to your desktop. And just click, you won't get that, it'll just move. and then just go ahead and X out of that and now go to your dash home which is the top thingy that brings this up and click or I guess type mail and it'll be called Thunderbird mail open it up and mine's already set up but it'll give you a little pop-up window that you need to click on and you're just gonna click type in your password your name and your uh, email address but once you have that set up, you're just going to go up here to write and click write. Put in the email address on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Go to subject, just put PEM. You can leave it empty if you really want, but I like to have a little subject on there. And go to attach. Right here at the top. Files. And you should just go to your desktop right here on the left. And click ca.pem. And then open at the bottom. You can't really see it. I'll move it up for you. Open. And right here in the attachments, it should show ca.pem. And now just go ahead and go up into the left corner and click send. And it'll take a second, but it'll go through. And now we're going to have to go to our iPod or iPad or iPhone to do it. So I'll see you there. 
Alright, so I didn't want to set this up too well, so you got a little bit of a... I'm going to be moving it and a glare, so sorry about that, but... You're just going to want to go into mail, where you should have your email set up, hopefully the one that you just sent it to. And right there at the top, or unless you got other emails after that, right there, there should be the one from you. Click it, and you should get an attachment right down here that says ca.pem. Click it. Take you to your settings, click install. It says not trusted, but don't worry about that. Install at the top. It'll ask you to enter your passcode. Just enter your passcode. If you have one, I don't know if you don't have one, I'm assuming you don't have to use one. Trusted and you're good. Just click done. It'll take you back to your mail. Close out of that. Now you're gonna have to go to settings, which you should have Spire for this. If you don't have Spire, go ahead and just go to Cydia and search Spire. S-P-I-R-E. Don't do it on 3G because it's a big file. Do it over Wi-Fi. <coughs> go ahead, download that. It'll take a little bit. And then come back to this part of the video. And you're just going to want to scroll down to Spire. And you're going to get... One second. Yours will be blank. Let's see if I can get it focus. Mine says HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Yours will be blank. Just put in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. And then, for instance, you're going to put your IP address in. So whatever you put on your computer that was your IP address, put that here. So if mine would have been 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one. I'll just click and you don't even have to click enter, just settings. And boom, you have that ready. And now we're gonna have to go back to the computer, so I'll be back on my computer. Alright, now that we've got all that done, all that's left to do is start the server. So if you don't if you close out of your terminal window, go ahead, go back into terminal. If not, close out and go back in just to clean it up a little bit. And just do, you know how to open it. Open it up. And we're just going to run command 8. And paste it in there. Enter. Command 9. Command 8 was quick. Command 9. You have to enter, enter your password. Like I said before, it doesn't show up. And you may get a big list of error junk coming up right here. But that's fine. Just go ahead and let's see if this thing is working. So I'm on my iPod Touch right here. The server's running. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to minimize this. But you can see I'm minimizing it, not closing. I'm just minimizing it because it shows my IP address and stuff. So I'm just going to minimize that. But here we go. Let's see if it works. Hello. There's something wrong, and I can't answer your questions right now. Please try again in a little while. And what do I care? All right. So it says there's an incoming connection, but I had this problem before, and I ended up just trying a couple times. Hello, and it started working. Go. Ahead, you can go ahead and just close out of Siri and go right back in. And just close out a couple times. Hello. I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right Alright. So if you get something like that happen to you like I just did, just go ahead, close out of your terminal window. No, cancel. Don't close out of it. Control C ends the server. So go ahead, just shut the thing down. And go ahead, go back to command eight. And type that in real quick. Enter. Command 9. P 
paste that in there, enter, and it looks like it started up better this time, so I'm just going to go ahead, leave it up, and do this. Hello. And I think it looks like it's going to work this time, we'll see. And of course it didn't go through again. Go ahead, close out again. Try it one more time. Once it gets connected, it works. Hello. And there it worked. No. I got the incoming connection, but it's not letting me. And my problem actually may be this. I should have tried this. Go ahead, control C again. I forgot about this. Go ahead and run this command. sudo easy install json j s o n r p c lib copy and paste that into your thing after you controlled seed it so that it closed out and it'll go through its thing and it'll download it and then we'll see if it'll work it should work then i never had this many problems the first time i set it up so i'm not really sure why it's doing this Chances are you won't have this problem either because I did not have this problem the first time I did it. But I'm just going to see if that fixed it. If not, that's how to do it. Sorry that I couldn't show you that it works. I'll have a video right as soon as possible after this when I get it working. And I'll explain what was wrong. It'll probably be tonight if I get it working. But it started up. Let's see now. Hello. I'm really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. It says incoming connection, but it's not letting me connect. Sorry that I couldn't get this to work. It should work for you. I will have a video up as soon as possible showing that it actually does work. And if yours works, then you don't have to worry about that. But thanks for watching. Like the video, comment, and go ahead and subscribe, please. And follow me on Twitter.